مرحب بحضراتكم مشاهدي زوم افريقيا هنبدا حلقتنا بلقاء مهم جدا هنتكلم على الاستثمار وفرص التجاره كتير من رجال الاعمال والمستثمرين قد ايه يهمهم ان هو يكون في تبادل تجاري ما بين مصر وما بين اشقائنا من الدول الافريقيه دلوقتي معايا لقاء مهم مع دريس ابراهيم رجل اعمال من نيجيريا ويلكم تو بروجرام زوم افريكا يا ثانك يو فور هافينج مي توداي اتس ا بليجر يا ثانك يو ريلي از فيري امبورتنت وين وي ار توكن اباوت ذا تريد or investment and uh, when we talk about Nigeria uh, it's a lot of people <laughs> definitely <laughs> yeah and even there is um, different uh, chances to to do trade to do in investment between the both countries right? definitely yeah so I want to start with you um, for the opportunity of what you are doing in Nigeria and what we are doing here in Egypt definitely thank you very much for having me here uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Um, I think uh, it's high time that uh, African need to trade more with each other. Yeah, Afri uh, Africa for Africans. Uh, yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah. And it's even more important for the two big economies in Africa. Yes. Uh, Egypt and Nigeria are big countries in Africa. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, we've not been able to f explore the potentials between both countries. Yeah. Uh, for instance, uh, last year the trade volume between Nigeria and Egypt is just less than 200 million dollars yeah. and um, it's very low compared to what we can do more yeah. considering uh, the size of the economy considering the population considering the potential when you look at the trade between Nigeria and the rest of the world is in billions mm. if you look at the trade between Egypt and the rest of the world it's in billions Mm -hmm. China, for instance, uh, United States of America, but to Africa it is very, very low. But I think uh, the uh, first... For your opinion, I'm sorry, yeah. for your opinion, what's the reason? Okay. Until now, it's, it's very low. Okay. One thing is, uh, it's information. There's mm -hmm. an information gap. There is lack of, lack of information. Information. Yeah. yeah, I think that's the critical thing. Mm -hmm. uh, because, uh, for instance, uh, we have a company in Nigeria and we have a company that is re also registered here in Egypt mm -hmm. and uh, we'll try to uh, link trade between both countries and to promote investment too yes. between both countries. Yeah. Uh, from our experience is we feel that uh, most businessmen in Nigeria are not aware of the potentials yes. in Egypt mm -hmm. and also vice versa. Uh, I'll give you a typical example. Before now uh, the ladies wear, which is we call the abayas. Yeah. Uh, Nigerian import a lot of it, uh, and mostly they do the trade with UAE, Dubai. Mm -hmm. So recently, there's a diplomatic issue between Nigeria and uh, Dubai, and uh, they stop issuing visas. Mm. So there was a need to have find an alternative. Yeah. And I could tell you now, almost all abayas that goes to Nigeria mm -hmm. now comes from Egypt. Great. Yeah, because yeah. before now, people don't know they could source the mm -hmm. product at a better quality, at a cheaper price yeah. in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Until that situation happened, and they started looking for alternative. Yes. And in Nigeria now, almost every store that is selling our buyers have Egyptian mm -hmm. buyers in their shop. Okay, so that I perfect. could tell, that's a typical example of it. Yeah. So And such could be replicated in other sectors too. Mm -hmm. if the information is known. For yeah. instance, if an average uh, businessman in Nigeria wants to import, he doesn't think of Egypt. If I was maybe Egypt, I come to do holiday. Mm. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> only. <laughs> only tourism. Why? So, but it's yeah. the information. Because yeah. we've been here, I do tell people that Egypt is the China of Africa. Yeah. In terms of uh, the manufacturing capacities, the industry, and the standard. And Egyptian mm -hmm. government has really done a lot to promote yes. uh, Egyptian exactly. company to meet up with, compete with international standard. But most of the Nigerian businessmen are not aware that they could source the product that they are going to source in Europe and in China yes. Here in Egypt, and uh, even the prices are better, yeah. and and uh, it's a good quality. By yeah, the way. it it is. There's three advantages that is there. Yes. One is the price is cheaper. Mm -hmm. Second, is that the cost of shipment is cheaper because the distance between 
uh, Egypt to Nigeria cannot be compared to China if uh, you're yeah, bringing yeah, from China. The poor. cost of yes. shipment is also low. And mm -hmm. also the quality is also uh, competitive. Uh, there was a company, a ceramic company, that we did a consultancy for, yeah. and we were trying to check their products. Mm -hmm. And we realized that the European companies come to Egypt and they contract them to produce those products oh. and to take it to, Egypt, to, wow. to, to Europe. Yeah. And businessmen from Nigeria go to the Europe <laughs> to buy. And this is, oh the source, this is the source of yes. the product. Yeah. So you can imagine the cost that could have been saved. Yes. If uh, they are aware that they could source those products in Egypt rather than go to uh, other countries. So the first step, uh, you, can, you can tell your, uh, the businessmen from yeah. the post side yes. to go by themselves, to the, see. Yes. Because seeing is believing, right? Yeah. So part of what we would try to feel, okay, we can arrange a, a, a trade mission yeah. where businessmen from Nigeria visit factories here in Egypt because we do consultancy with some of the Egyptian companies that wants to go to Nigeria yes. and uh, we've seen the productive capacity. Nigerian, it's a big market. Yeah, it's a big yeah. market, it's more than 200 million and uh, it's also heavily imp uh, import importing nation. So we know, uh, we call it comparative advantage yes. in, in, in economics to know what areas mm -hmm. do the both countries collaborate. Yeah. What does this country need that we don't have? What does this country need that we need also? And both countries can come together and maximize the benefits. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, there is this agreement that was uh, uh, signed mm -hmm. by the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. Mm -hmm. And Nigeria and Egypt are signatory, yes. are part of it. Yeah, yeah. And the purpose is to promote trade between African countries. Mm -hmm. So with that, lot of investment and business opportunity will spring up between uh, the both countries. Now, what that does is uh, there is a program that is being initiated by the Pan-African, uh, Afrexim Bank, mm -hmm. Pan-African Payment System, in which an Egyptian can buy something from Nigeria with the pound. Oh, okay. And a Nigerian can pay yeah. with the Naira and the uh, the seller here receives Egyptian pounds. Yeah, this is a good news. You don't need to yeah. change to yeah. dollar to trade between. With the hard the currency now, yeah, it's, uh, it's a it's problem. It's, yeah, it is. It is very difficult. Yep. Not only that, is if until now, if you have to do business between both countries, the payment bank needs to the money needs to go outside Africa first. Yes. Yes, exactly. Uh, before it's been rooted back. Yeah, and they lot benefit. Of, and there's a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> they benefit from us. Yeah, so, uh, so <laughs> why, 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 why it's not supposed to be so? Yes. So I believe with that platform, and also there's going to be elimination of tariffs, meaning that uh, you don't need to pay import duties yeah. on goods that are produced within these countries. Yes. So that will give a uh, more competitive advantage. For instance, mm -hmm. if you want to import from China, you pay certain levy on importation. If okay. it's coming from Egypt, you don't pay. Mm. So that will enhance uh, both trade, both trade between both countries. So yes. we believe information gap needs to be bridged. Mm -hmm. uh, the both businessmen need to be aware of the business opportunities within uh, both countries. Yeah. And that is what we try to do. Uh, we're supposed to do a program last, uh, this early this month, mm. in which uh, some uh, agricultural uh, companies are coming from Nigeria yeah. for, a, for, a, for, a, for a trade mission to showcase the products they have in, in soya beans, okay, sesame, yeah. and all that. Yeah. And also to see some of the agricultural machineries they can also take also yeah. from Egypt to mm -hmm. Nigeria so that it's a win-win for, yes, exactly. for, both, for both countries. Yeah. Okay, really, thank you so much, uh, Dries Ibrahim from yeah. Nigeria. Yeah, really, it's my very pleasure to, to it's have you here in my it's show. It's, it's, it's our pleasure, it's ours. <laughs> thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Mushahedina, foster again, look at